Lions TV, we are sponsored by Regal Elevators and Lifts Consultants Limited, a company that is owned and operated by a Millwall fan, just like every single one of the sponsors that you can already see on the screen. If you are going to do a bit of business in 2021, then please keep it in the Millwall family by checking out all of our sponsors' website links in the description below. This is your preview show for Saturday's home game against Gary Rowett's former club, Stoke City, at the Den. Let's have a butchers. Okay, so before I delve into the game, this isn't a Thursday club. I want to keep it brief. Similar to a way where I was so pissed off of it, there wasn't a lot I wanted to say or could say that I'd already hadn't said, okay, going in after the Luton game. Let me just tell you this, right? For those who think that I, I'm hating on Rowett and I, I don't want Mill to succeed and I want the team to do bad in, in intentions of having better views... You're absolutely fucking miles off. If they play and show the same desire, fight, commitment and confidence every week that they did against Sheffield United, trust me, I will be singing Gary Rowett's fucking praises from the rooftops. That is all I want from a Millwall team and a Millwall performance. And I feel we got extra. You know, we had goals, sendings off, penalties, freak goals. You know, it was end to end. It was absolutely brilliant. I don't expect it to be that exciting every week. I'm not that. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not that stupid. But the intensity they showed, the commitment to each other, the desire, the togetherness. You know, the confidence. We, we just went into the game on the front foot. And why the fuck not? Why not? We've got the players there. That proves it. It also proves that myself and anyone else that was moaning are well within their rights. And sometimes, listen. In life in general, don't just be happy with what you got. Give something to kick, to kick up the bollocks. I'm not saying I single-handedly have forced the team to play better, but I would imagine a little bit of a thing from me, as well as a few other fan outlets, as well as the fans booing at Luton, you know, why, why settle for less? Demand more. We've demanded more from the players, and you could see 100% that they'd have, they'd have a rocket up their arse. George Savile especially, I thought, was outstanding in the game. And, and, and this is what we want. You've got to demand more. You've got to drain every bit out of... What, what you're back in and what you're involved in. You have to. So for those who go, oh, just leave them alone. No, sorry, that's not me. It's not the way I operate. And, you know, it was a brilliant, brilliant performance up at Sheffield United. You couldn't ask any more. And as I said, listen, I'll fucking buy Gary Rowett a fucking throne and a crown to put on his head if he carries on like that. The players were at it and, and it's, you know, long may it continue. But we do have this massive issue with consistency. What I also will say is people say, well, you're not going to cover that game then. Well, I did cover it because I did a two and a half hour live stream. I did about a four minute full time reaction where I pretty much sung their praises, couldn't really get any more in. And I have other work commitments, believe it or not. <laughs> when people say to me, why weren't you going to the game this week, the away game? Well, I've been to four this season QPR, Swansea, Barnsley, somewhere else, going to Huddersfield next week. You know, and I do have other jobs and other work interests. Don't forget, I don't get paid by the club and nothing to do with the club. I'm an independent fan channel. But listen, to sum up, Sheffield United. That is all we ask for, and it is in them, so let's hope that we can find one thing that we've always struggled to, not just under Gary Rowett, but also under Neil Harris, and that's consistency going into Saturday's home game against Stoke. Managed by Michael O'Neill, he wasn't he a dual manager at one point, he was Stoke manager, and he was um, Northern Ireland manager, he was on double bubble. I've looked into it, he's jacked the Northern Ireland job in, and he is focusing solely on Stoke City. Do you know what, he's gone about his business there really slowly and really well, I like what he's done, and they're doing alright, they currently sit 7th in the division, however in the last 5 games they've won 2, drawn 1, and lost 2, but... They've lost two on the bounce. Two difficult games, mind you. Away at Sheffield United. No easy feat to win there, as we know. And last time out, they lost 1-0 at the bet. 3-6-5 to top of the table. Undefeated Bournemouth. So, they'll be coming to the den, not only expecting they might get something, but needing something to get themselves back on track. So, this is your pre-match prediction. And here we go. Listen, we are really good away from home. Maybe not always exciting, but the last two away games, two last-minute winners, you can't, you can't buy more excitement than that. So I'm going to stop banging on about the lack of excitement away from home. Away from home is fine. There is this home issue that we all say about. Listen, however, we are only four places behind Stoke in 11th place, three points behind them. You know, we're not a million miles off the fucking playoffs, are we? So are we being too critical on Rowie, or are we giving them the little kick we need to get the more out of them that we know, they just, just holding a bit back, weren't they? They was just 
holding a bit back. So, what teams are going to play, Rowick? This is also a big decision because you got, I don't know where Danny Mac was, I'm assuming he's injured. Murray Wallace was injured, now potentially fit again. Of course, he was the match winner up at Barnsley. Mason Bennett, come on, I thought did really well the other night. Tom Bradshaw, run his nuts off. Oh, by the way, someone on one of the comments, I don't really, what well, I do, because I'm fucking not going on about the comments, have I? But one of them, someone said, oh, Dan, Dan said on his live stream that he causes more of a threat than Bradshaw from his armchair. I absolutely didn't say that, so I don't know where he's got that from or whether he saw it. You know, in the comments on the night. But I definitely didn't say that. I thought Bradshaw was a handful. thought he did well on the night. Um, Benny Kofobi dropped out. That was unfortunate. Because I think he works hard. But when he come on, I think he showed that he's maybe not fantastic in front of goal. With uh, his missed opportunity. He dragged wide of the post. So lots of decisions to make. George Savile, of course, is suspended as well. So he's going to have to break up that pairing that I don't like. But keeps doing the job of Evans and Savile. So I think he'll bring Leonard in to play a more advanced role. Um, and I think if Danny Max fit, he'll bring him in to right wing back. If not, I think he'll bring Danny, uh, Billy Mitchell back, uh, back in to right wing back. So plenty of players to choose from. Selection headache, which I always say is a good headache to have. But I'll give you a prediction. And here we go. And I'm very sorry. I've got to be completely honest with you. It's very Millwall, isn't it? To lose at home to Luton, go away and have an amazing result. Best performance of the season, Gary Rowett said. And he wasn't wrong. But I think on Saturday at home against Stoke, and we always do this, we start doing well, get a couple of good results, get a big crowd there, like we did against Luton, and go and fuck ourselves over. I don't think we're going to do that on Saturday, but I think it's going to be nil-nil. I'm sorry. I wish I could lie to you and say, you know what, we're going to go there, we're going to turn Stoke free nil. And of course, I hope we do, but unfortunately, I think on the back of a Sheffield United high, we're going to get brought back down to a middle ground with a nil-nil draw at home. To Stoke. So that's your lot for this preview show. I hope you have enjoyed it. One thing to mention, there will be no live stream on Saturday, unfortunately. I have paid for myself and my son to go in the box. Uh, D-Wall maintenance legend, Dave. Uh, but he needs the box in full. It's his son's birthday. He's got family coming over from Spain. So I can't go in the box this Saturday. However, Dave, if you're watching, you owe me two passes and I'll be taking one of them for the Derby game. Um... So yeah, there won't be a live stream. Apologies about that. However, if you are one of our sponsors as well, don't worry because you've already had two extras, Sheffield United um, and another home away game that I streamed, whenever it was, whenever it was, whatever it was. I'm going to stop talking. I will see you at the den on Saturday. If you're going, please be sure to check out the fan score predictions from the other boys at Lions TV and Gil. We'll probably go out tomorrow on the channel. And as I said, I'll see you in hopefully sunny South Bermondsey at the weekend. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.